Well, the G20 summit meeting is all set to begin today in Debrugar. After Guwahati, Debrugar has become the second city in Assam to be hosting the G20 summit meet. A total of 103 representatives from 29 countries are going to attend the meeting today in Debrugar. The meeting today would be deliberating on the issue of agriculture, especially organic farming. Other topics to be discussed during the course of the meeting would be climate change, health and sports. Yesterday, the G20 representatives were welcomed in Debrugar upon their arrival with Bihu dancers. presenting a concept of carbon farming that's actually farming which helps to also solve climate issues and climate problems so participate in this working group very happy to do this I would love to yes I hope uh, we will have chance to see these farms uh, and uh, tea plantations and uh, areas where it grows and I wanted to try it I want to taste I mean because we we are grow we are growing with uh, Indian tea you know from my childhood it was always tea from Assam uh, why not <laughs> we are ready, we are open to uh, different proportions, uh, we are ready to discuss different topics uh, which India indicated within its presidency in 2020 and of course we are open for cooperation in the future. Not only the culture but the knowledge partnership which is coming up across the country and there are hundreds of such meetings are being organized. So it is great and we are all proud that uh, India is now this year leading G20 and Dibrugarh. Thanks to the way the welcome has been done, it is a very unique way of Himalayas. And we thank coming to this place and to all people of Dibrugarh for the same. A serious new challenges agriculture face. And I know Assam is a tea plantation, a tea farm, tea uh, industry uh, state. And I think for Assam as an agricultural state, as a cultural country, it's a very important topic and a very important issue to be discussed tomorrow. All right, to know more, we are being joined live with our correspondent from Dibrugar, Ripunjoy Das. So, Ripunjoy, a very good morning to you. Well, the G20 summit meeting is all set to begin today in Dibrugar. Uh, so, how's the last minute preparations going on? Where are you at this point in time, Ripunjoy? Yes, Priya, uh, everything is set for holding the G20 conclave in Dibrugar. And we know that today is a day-long program. The inaugural session is set to begin at 8.45 a.m. Uh, during which the delegates from all the G20 nations and uh, from the invited countries will take, uh, take part. And Priya, we saw that there was a huge reception given to all the delegates and officials of G20 came in a chartered flight from Delhi to Dibrugar. Uh, the afternoon, last afternoon, and uh, there was a lot of enthusiasm among the participants which were witnessed when when they visited some of the tea gardens also in the vicinity of this main venue. Priya, right now we are at Monohari, the retreat, which is just adjacent to Dibrugar, and uh, here uh, the main uh, venue, the, the main venue of the conclave is here only, and 8.45, the inaugural session will start. It will go on for around an hour or so. After that, the technical session will resume. Priya. Right. And Ripunjai, a total of 103 representatives from 29 countries, they are going to attend the meeting today in Debrugar. We have seen some of the delegates, uh, you know, they reached uh, Debrugar yesterday only. And so what about the other delegates? At what time will they reach uh, Debrugar? Priya, all the delegates had reached uh, last evening itself in Dibrugar. Uh, most of them have come from Delhi directly to Dibrugar and some of them lit, uh, late in the evening. Right. And they are being uh, accommodated in four separate venues. Uh, 
four separate hotels in Dibrugar. And uh, as I said that the main venue is uh, here at the Monohari, the retreat where the inaugural session will start uh, at around 8.45. 8.45 is the given time sharp that will uh, start the inaugural session. And uh, Priya, the media is not uh, allowed inside hmm. uh, the main venue. However, there will be a press conference after the conclave, after the deliberation are over at around 4 p.m. And uh, you can see that uh, uh, tight security is in place. Everything has been brushed up. Uh, the deck is uh, set. And you can see all kinds of holding, uh, outlining the theme of Basundha Kutumbam and uh, One Earth, One Family, One Future. Uh, this is the main uh, theme of the, of the conclave here, which is delivering on uh, circular bioeconomy, and uh, the guests and the country's G20 nations, uh, Priya, for our, uh, for our viewers uh, are Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, India, of course, hosting and presiding over the meeting, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Korean Republic, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Turkey, UK, United States and the European Union. And apart from these G20 nations, there are uh, nine guest countries also, representative from nine guest countries has also reached here. Uh, those are Bangladesh, UAE, Nigeria, Egypt, Mauritius, Spain, Singapore, Oman, and Netherlands. Uh, so, um, Priya, uh, the day-long conference is uh, the separate various uh, topics, various subjects have been given, and deliberations will take on in those uh, topics. Priya.